Alright, so I want to share this quote as it is a week of just gratitude and being thankful um, even in the climactic dynamics of cultura. This is a moment that we have to always just kind of reflect. So I'm going to give you this quote. Life is full of beauty. Notice it. Notice the bumblebee, the, the small child, the smiling faces. Smell the rain, feel the wind. Live your life to the fullest potential. And at the end of the day, fight for your dreams. An amazing quote by Ashley Smith. Special episode on gratitude and being thankful here at Fio Pasión. Let's go. Hola, ¿qué tal, mi gente? This is Noan El Boricua, and I just want to say muchas gracias for tuning in for this episode where I just kind of want to have a little bit of reflection. I know a lot of times I come in, I want to motivate, I want to inspire, uh, and just give you some intel on just things that I've read on or things that are always impacting my life uh, as a leader, as a husband, father, you know, all, all the above. And as always, we know that this podcast is around how do we immerse ourselves in cultura, how do we grow in our faith, and more importantly, how do we make those conexiones to be able to level up in life. And once again, um, if you're listening or if you're watching this, I want to say thank you first and foremost, and maybe hopefully you can share this with someone. So I, I kind of want to to really understand, like, every time we have an opportunity to be thankful, you know, locally at my church, we've been talking about just this month of uh, just what gratitude means. I think for me, one of the biggest things that I really appreciate is whenever I get a chance to kind of read on some quotes, get a chance to kind of reflect on life. So this video, I just kind of want to like level say, and I want to give you a little bit of like a couple areas that I'm very thankful for. Stay till the end because I'm going to give us a call to action of how do we put to action uh, a, 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 like this... um this approach of gratitude mindset. So it's three simple words, wait till the end, and hopefully you can uh, tune in. So one of the first things that I wanna say that I'm really grateful for uh, when it comes to the cultura uh, for me is I'm grateful to be able to just say it is inspiring both from afar as well as maybe people that I know when it comes to the music industry, when it comes to the sports industry, and when it comes to just different things within the business context of like leaders and people that have impacted me, um, I am so grateful for those type of people. I'm grateful and I'm not gonna name any names on it because there's so many, and there's people that I've just, I've never met in person yet. Like I haven't had a chance to connect, but it has been super inspiring and it makes me so grateful to be able to have things like social media that allows you to really learn from others allows you to be able to listen to their journeys and to be able to relate on some of the beauties and struggles of whatever it is that, that you're going after. For me, is becoming a better um, content creator, how to become a better leader in the different uh, facets of my life, and also just kind of cool insights, right? When we think about the beauty of what our you know Latin community has been going after this year, I'm super grateful for La Cultura. I think it's something that, as we've talked about in season six of herencia and identity and how do we how do we cultivate that, I am grateful for that moment of just seeing so many amazing people that are within the cultura. You name the industry. I'm so grateful for our Latin community because it is very awe-inspiring for me to be able to go forward. So, shout out to nuestra gente, todos los latinos, latinas. Thank you so much for the work that you've done. Number two, when it comes to faith, I am grateful for my church. Uh, ultimately, I'm grateful to God. Um, I'm also just grateful for many men and women that are in the front lines of doing this amazing work of giving back to the community. Now, here I will want to give a shout out. I want to give a shout out to just uh, Passion LA. They're a nonprofit organization here in Southern LA where they're making a big impact within the community. Um, man, like to see what God has done to wh who we now call Pastor Bobby, uh, it, it's been really dope to see that. I just want to give you your flowers, sir, and say thank you, man. Look, you've navigated so many medical issues as of late, 
but look where God has you and the beauty. And I and I'll, and I'll speak to this a little bit later. The beauty of the conexión is those connection of, of being able to not just empower your people, but enable them to be able to lead Passion LA, both from a nonprofit lens as well as now they're starting a new church plant uh, here in, in South LA. So. I'm really grateful for them. Also, I'm also grateful for Urban Youth Workers Institute. Uh, big shout out to Will and, and Tommy and, and the whole team at UIWI, uh, really empowering these next gen urban leaders in, in all North America. And I think to be a small piece of it and to be able to see the work that's being done, I'm so grateful this past year, all the work that they've done in all the different key cities. I also wanna give a shout out to E625 in Spanish is Especialidades 625. And this is, a, again, another organization with uh, Dr. Lucas Leis and Sergio Valerga, uh, who really, just, and the whole North America gang of just uh, impacting the Latin community, uh, empowering. I am so grateful that I had the chance to be able to share uh, in San Diego. That was a, a beautiful moment for me. And I'm really grateful uh, to be able to see that. And, and lastly, I'm just grateful for my pastor, um, Pastor Jose Luis Heraldes. And, you know, our church, we've celebrated 55 years. Many that don't know, I've been serving here for 20 years. And I'm just grateful for my pastor, man. Look, no pastor is perfect. Uh, people make mistakes. But in this case, our pastor has been really in the front lines, building community, building the connections, and really the, the empowerment of what we're doing. Is, it's been amazing. And to all of our volunteers and leaders locally here, I want to say thank you. And if you're someone that volunteers within the church context or maybe some kind of faith-based organization, yo, shout out to you guys. Much love to that. And the, the, the last one is Conexión, is networking connections. So many people to thank. First and foremost, I want to give a shout out to Have a Soul, uh, an amazing nonprofit that just is constantly elevating the game and making a beautiful impact in LA and beyond. We're talking about now, we have a Portland chapter, we have our East Coast chapter, like it's just constantly going and I'm really grateful for Have a Soul uh, when it comes to connections. I want to give a shout out to Covenant House here in, in Hollywood in LA. Uh, we had a chance from... You know, the, the beauty of, of connections and, and networking is getting a chance to be blessed, right? And to be able to donate goods and donate things for all of the people within Covenant House, all of the people when it comes to nonprofits like Have a Soul, also A Safe Place, another nonprofit organization. But also, shout out to Alexander James. This is the importance of having these connections, right? Alexander James really connected us uh, for me to be able to meet uh, so many of our black churches in LA like yo it was amazing to be here because I'm here locally at my church to be here and see all the different U-Hauls all the different trucks and we just making conexiones making connections many of them at the time of this recording uh, from a brown and black context are serving turkeys giving out gifts and just loving on the community and giving hope uh, in the streets of LA and my hope and my, and my prayers are that we continually do this look we heal in community. I've said it so many times. And I think when we make connections, it's beautiful to see the impact and really the empowerment that we can do uh, when we all come together. Which leads me to the last one. A shout out to Dr. Uh, Josh, Dr. <laughs> Dr. J from Circle of Change Leadership. I just recently kind of posted on this. I had a chance to go to Cal State Dominguez. They just celebrated their 14th year. Here's the beauty of this. There are so many connecting moments when you get to sit in the green room. But what I loved about this year, and I kind of shared this uh, in another post, is that you get to be able to connect with these college students that are looking to do greatness in this world. What? Yo, that's what it's all about. So, kind of wanted to just share a little bit of that. And as a bonus, I am thankful for my family. My amazing two boys that are young men. My amazing wife. I I'm just grateful for my family because of the fact that they know that I'm constantly pushing the envelope. I'm constantly pushing a lot of narratives. Um, I'm trying to be a better man every day and, and a better leader and a better human being. And I'm just grateful for my family that keeps me grounded. That's a little bonus of who and, and why I'm grateful in, in my family and just it, all the people in my life, um, you know, all the different leaders and all that. Um, I got I to gotta give this out to you guys. I wanted to give you a call to action. I think when I read Ashley Smith, she gives us a command. So here's the command as we're in the season of Thanksgiving, Navidad, the holiday season, all of that good stuff, the New Year's that's coming. The command is this, notice beauty. And sometimes maybe because life is so crazy, we need to rediscover the beauty 
that's in our life in this moment right now. And the here's the three things that I want is, is to stop, breathe, notice. Stop, breathe, notice. I think a lot of times life is so fast that we're constantly go, 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 go. But when was the last time that you actually stopped? You paused to be able to reflect where you came from, reflect where you're at now, and reflect of where you'll potentially be going. I think in this season of gratitude, we need to remind ourselves to be able to stop and to be able to next is breathe. I think breathe, when we think about oxygen, it's vital to our health. It's vital to us living as human beings and and so many other things, right? Plants and animals. Like we need to breathe. We need to smell. We need to constantly notice the beauty that's around us. Can I tell you, not to be funny, when I drive by like a taco stand and I can smell that al pastor, man, let me tell you, that is noticing some beauty. Uh, of knowing that we have so many amazing people out there that are one just constantly going after their passions in life or maybe it's a bakery or maybe you're you know at the beach or maybe you're in the mountain like we need to be able to breathe man sometimes we're constantly so agitated and so stressed that we forget you know one of the things that i i remember you know when whenever i'm doing sparring and jujitsu you get so caught up in, in in the details and and getting this particular move and making sure that I mount my opponent and and I'm gonna go for an arm bar or I'm gonna go for a kumura or or any type of choke and and you're going going and next thing you know you're at the bottom of the fight and you're you're tapping out and one of the first things I know many of the black belts uh, that shared with me was breathe breathe because a lot of times when you forget to breathe all your technique goes out the window your thought, your training, your thinking goes out the window because we're too caught up in what's in front of us. So we need to breathe. And the last one is really, uh, it's just noticing. And, and I think for me, you know, we always find beauty when we are open to the idea that when something is buried, then something beautiful can grow. And I think that that's really the last thing that I was thinking about is like, when was the last time we noticed the growth in our professional uh, life? When was the last time we noticed our growth in our relationships when was the last time we noticed the growth of our people our teams so if you're a leader have you noticed the growth of your team if you're a leader of an organization did you notice the growth of the organization as a whole like we need to get better at stopping breathing and noticing in this season and my hope is that each and every one of you can do that so Yeah, that's kind of what I have for you guys. I I hope that you guys have a safe, safe holiday season. I hope that you enjoy your Thanksgiving. And um, we'll get into like Navidad and we'll get into a lot of dope stuff down the road. But uh, more importantly, thank you so much, everyone, for constantly supporting the channel. Look, it's a body of one person here and I'm trying my best. But you guys have been rocking with me. So I appreciate each and every one of you, those that are watching as well as those that are listening. Uh, Muchas gracias, la verdad. And uh, I hope that we continually go forward. So, yo, uh, like always, check us out, PioPasionPodcast.com. Y como siempre, immerse yourself dentro de la cultura, grow in your faith, and always make sure that you make those conexiones. Como dice mi abuelita, que Dios te bendiga.